So today we're checking out another mini PC, this time from Camrui. I want to thank them for sending this over to review on the channel. I'll leave a link with current pricing and more information down in the description below. <laughs> Some of the specs on this one, you've got an AMD Ryzen 5 5500U processor, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, and it can go up to 32 gigabytes. It also comes with a 512 gigabyte M.2 SSD for storage. Max is out at two terabytes of storage. You've also got a dual network port on here as well. It can support a dual screen setup and it'll support up to 4K resolution, 60 Hertz. You got dual band Wi-Fi, so 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, Bluetooth 4.2, and it comes with Windows 11 Pro. And in case you're wondering, this is model number AM06 Pro. Kind of a large brick here for the power cable. HDMI cable is included. You've also got a mount along with some screws. Attachment for your expanded storage. Here in the front, you've got a USB-C, two USB 3.0 ports, and then a headphone jack as well. Here on the back, you've got your DC port for the power. It's got dual network ports, so one gigabit and then 2.5 gigabit, an HDMI port, DP port, and then two USB 2.0 ports. It looks like the entire case is made of plastic. Pretty nice design though. It has a power button there on the corner. You can see each corner has a screw in the rubber foot, so pretty easy to take the bottom off here. You can see on the inside it's got two 8 gigabyte sticks. So just running some of my usual tests on this mini PC, 4K videos on YouTube seem to have a few dropped frames, but overall plays pretty nice and smooth in my testing. I also did some Geekbench testing to see how it compares to other mini PCs I've tested. It's got 1480 for single core, 6042 for multi-core score, and then 14,019 compute score. So surprisingly a little better than the Ace Magician mini PC I just tested. That's got an i7 processor and a little better compute score than the B-Link Sur 5 mini PC which also has a Ryzen 5 that I tested out a while back and then quite a bit better than the Ace Magician on 3D Mark Time Spy scores and slightly better than the B-Link Sur 5. I also ran the Forza Horizon 5 benchmark test to see that it only runs 31 frames per second so nothing groundbreaking here but it still seems to play fairly smooth for the most part. Same thing when testing now Rocket League. Again, not the best frame rates at only 30 for 1080p resolution, but still played fairly smooth for the most part. So it might just depend on what types of games you'll be playing, but it looks like it's going to be fine to do some light gaming. It's probably going to struggle with more of the graphic intense games, or you may just have to play at a little lower settings. I also usually test out these mini PCs with video editing since that's what I spend a lot of time doing for my YouTube channel. And this one seems to handle simple 4 k resolution editing without too much effort doesn't seem to glitch or stutter too much so yes you could use this for 4k video editing as long as it's not too crazy but like i said most of the stuff i do is pretty basic and this one seems to have enough power to do that for at least what i would need it for so this mini PC by Camrui might be one of the better affordable mini PCs I've tested. So I would have no problems recommending this one for anyone who wants a small lightweight PC that you can hide behind just about anything. It's got most of the ports that I would need. And from my testing, it's got more than enough power for most people. It may just come down to what you're looking for in a mini PC or how much power or features that you would need. But to me and my testing, this one seems like a pretty good affordable option. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.